G'day, g'day guys. Welcome to another layout. I want to start by saying happy birthday to my daughter. Today is her birthday and I'm sure she would love it if you guys wished her a happy birthday. She's 15 today and she has been counting the days down all week long. So yeah, we get to go out and celebrate her birthday tonight and have a nice family dinner and yeah, it's fantastic. She's so excited. Okay, what am I creating? This is literally polar opposites to what yesterday's layout was. This one I decided to let loose. I've grabbed myself some new, um, well they're new to me, they're not new as such, Distress Oxide Sprays and I wanted to have a play with them. So I decided today I was going to just let loose and just create a bright, bold, creative page. So I pulled out my Dina Wakely Media Collage Paper. Now this one was one from a few years ago and it's just all black and white prints. And it's collage paper so it's nice and thin. It doesn't leave big ripples on your page. I don't know why I'm putting this down with my silicon brush, but I that's what I had in my hand so that's what I did. Now the base page is made up, is um, the Vicky Booten Foundation paper, the mixed media paper, and it's designed to take water and wet media, mediums, media, um, and I did, look, I did go ahead and I put a very thin coat of clear gesso, the Art Basics Finnebear gesso. I did put that down because, and I'll explain why I did that, because I wanted to show you two different looks in this one layout. So I wanted to show you a couple of different things. Now I have, I'm just putting, uh, I will let you know, I'm just putting this down with some Distress Collage Medium in the mat and it's, um, I like it, it holds everything down. It's matte, there's no gloss to it, which is fantastic, so you don't get the reflection. When I'm trying to be a little bit arty, <laughs> um, when I'm trying to do that, I like things to stay matte, and then I will add the shine when I want it, if that makes sense. You know, like sometimes you can get like a gloss medium and stuff like that. I like it to stay matte until I'm ready to add the shine. Now this is one of my, so I'm using the Crafters Workshop Light and Fluffy Moulding Paste and I'm just putting it through one of my stencils that I bought a while ago. Um, well, it's not even a while ago, I think I got them end of last month, something like that. Feels like a while ago, when you scrap every day it feels, feels like you need to go and get some more. Now what I'm using here, I'm just going to point this out because I have sped the video up. This is the Lindy's Magicals, okay? They have been out for a while, but they're new to me. And I absolutely love these. Now, I purchased a misting, a, a powder misting tool. I purchased it before I got the Magicals because I thought, you know what? It might work. I've never seen anyone else use one. Let's see what it does. So I grabbed it. I put some of it in the mix in the the bottle and it literally gives you like a fine mist of of powder which is fantastic and i really liked it i had a play on another sheet of cardstock i was just having a play with it first to see if it actually did anything before i put it on the camera but as you can see i do end up going in because i went in with a couple of really dark colors the fine mist, even though it gave me a nice colour, I wanted it to be a bit more bold. So I did end up just going in with one of my little teeny tiny spoons that I ended up getting these from Amazon AU. They are just the tiniest, tiniest little spoon. They come in a hundred packs. So if you and your friend want to get together and go halves in the pack, like, because they're plastic, you don't throw them out after you use them once. Like, so... See the little spoon I'm using there? They're absolutely magic. Now, I you can see the tags to the left-hand side of me there. That's where I was just... I put some of the magicals on those tags just to see what they look like once they were wet. 
and how they they wick out they're basically like a watercolor pigment powder that's what i can gather and there's some mica powder chucked in there and you can i mean you can go to town you can dump the whole thing on if you wanted to but they literally add shimmer shine depth of color so it's not just mica powder so something that i was asked by a subscriber the other day is how do they differ now one i want to say the distress oxide sprays i just want to let you know i think bobby asked me the question actually what's the difference between that and the mica sprays that i make up myself now the distress oxide sprays they are a composition they're an oxide spray they have a color they are water reactive but they have a good base color so if as long as you put that on sorry that's my child messaging me um so as long as you're putting it on top of gesso you're going to get this really bright bold color now I want you to just take a mental note of how bright the yellow is and how bright the purple is because they were oxide sprays. So I used seedless preserves, I used mustard seed, and I used some squeezed lemonade. That's how I got the color that's on there at the moment. Then I put a little bit of magicals on top because I didn't want the oxide color as much. I wanted it more to be, I wanted some shimmer. Now, I stopped at this point and I went, okay, stop adding more, add your border, see where we go from there. I wanted this to be quite a grungy look. These are photos that I, uh, that I took when my husband and I went to one of the Keith Urban concerts, one of the many that I've been to, and I wanted to scrapbook it because it's something that my husband and I share together and we absolutely love it. So I pulled out my Black Soot Distress watercolour pencil and I'm just doing a real grungy border. So these are watercolour pencils. They are not waxy. They're not a waxy crayon. So they're not like a um, gelato. So once these actually dry, I'm, I'm able to then go over the top of it again. So... Basically, I just come in with, so I did the black around the border, then I came in with the Seedless Preserves watercolour pencil because I wanted to add a little bit of a darker purple. I know that sounds stupid because it's the same title, right? But if you can imagine, so I've got, I've got a plethora of different distress colors so whether i've got distress ink or distress oxide sprays or the distress inks or the watercolor pencils and i've done that with intention i've done that because i like to load up um load up the colors and i like to see the different mediums working together and i really love how this page turns out i know it's not everyone's thing some people like to stick straight to a very traditional paper only scrapbooking route some people like the full mixed media crazy so on my channel i like to bring different looks now this is where i wanted to show you a very simple difference can you see i've used exactly the same colors right on exactly the same cardstock the difference is this does not have gesso on it at all so there's no clear gesso on any of this so that piece i'm sopping up the color with is just a piece of um, collage paper out of the dina wakeley um collage collection that i was using now can you see the difference in the color can you see how the color and the brightness has just sucked into that cardstock this is the difference between this is the immediate difference that i've noticed between using gesso and not using gesso so you can use the vicky Booten foundations paper not a problem but if you want the bright colors if you want that really bright bold look i think and it's my opinion that see how much brighter that is and the only reason it's that bright is because I put the gesso down first. So all of the product is 
sitting on top of the paper. It doesn't rub off once it's dry, but it the gesso allows it to have a barrier. So that's the reason why I did that. Now, um, I'm adding a little bit of, I feel like I need a little bit of white on here, but I'm very obviously abundantly aware that whenever I use the Distress Oxide inks, because they're water reactive and I've diluted some water white paint, um, it's water. So it's going to, if I don't dry it quickly enough, it's going to suck the color up through the white paint. It's a given. It is what it's just the nature of the beast. It's the nature of the medium. It's just whether you are happy with that or if you're not happy with that. Well, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't really happy with that result, but we live and we learn. Now, as you can see, because the color sucked into these two sheets here, because they sucked into it, that's me just adding some of my homemade mica spray because now I want to add the shine so I've used some of the Lindy's Magicals that's added a little bit onto the other page they are stunning I have to say I think I'd like to do just a bit of playing on a video to show you how much they really do shine they're, they're beautiful um, how much use I will get out of them I'm not sure yet but if you're after some if you want to give it a try I've got my link for Crazy Craft Obsession in, in the description below and you can pop over there and they've got some in stock at the moment, at the time of this video being loaded. I have to be careful when I say stuff like that because, you know. Um, okay, so this is the collage paper. So this is me having a play. I put the, I put the white and I put the mica powder on the wrong side. I wanted it to be on the brighter side, but that's okay. So this is me. Now I'm just having a play, figuring out I wanted a barrier between the photos and I wanted the photos to stay in that, the way I printed them essentially. And I wanted to give them, I wanted to create um, a messy backing, still in the same colors, but can you see how... I'm backing these with different, it's the same colors, it's the same oxide sprays, but because I haven't dressed the cardstock or the tissue paper, it looks like a different color. All in the same family, but it's different. That's what you can do when you purchase Distress Oxide sprays. You don't necessarily need to buy the entire lot. Pick your first, pick three colors that go together well. You know, your children, you might have boys. So you might say, well, I do a lot of greens and blues. Okay, so you do lots of greens and blues. So get green, blue, and um, another complementary color that's run out of my head right now. Um, if you do something like that, you will maybe get a bright yellow with it. And that way, they will all, they won't make mud. And you'll be able to create looks like this super simply and you don't need I mean I'm going to town I'm spraying these things like they're water and to be honest I used absolutely nothing like it doesn't even look like I've opened the bottle that's how much and you can see I was just going to town spraying 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 I have spray all over my desk though I will let you know it was a little messy I probably should have thought about that before I did it but that's okay um as I said we live and we learn so I'm just layering up just some scrap black cardstock just sort of to create some layers in there. None of these layers are going all the way across underneath. As you can see there, I'm just gluing them down and just creating edges. Or in that case, I completely missed what I was doing. <laughs> I put the glue down and completely missed it. So yeah, this is, I'm really liking how this is coming out. I didn't like the white splatters. I'll be completely honest with you. That kind of eluded me. I was kind of like, oh, damn. I didn't think about that. So I will work on how I will get around that in the future. I have a bit more of a play, see what I can do. I don't know if you know of any white spray that can go 
that can make the the spatter effect the splatters the you know I'm not a huge splatter fan normally on my layouts okay if you've been here for five minutes you know that I'm trying to get better at spontaneously adding some splatters here and there um when I'm doing a mixed media page like this that's like heavy thick you know it's got it's got lots of different things going on on the page I'll be honest with you I had pink cranked and Adam Lambert and I had them cranked I had my my speaker going full belt it was like my stu my craft room it was like a studio and it was just I was loving I was loving it it was a good three hours and I I don't even know where three hours went to be quite honest with you um but I think sometimes we need to do that we just need to let loose and go just break off the shackles you know don't take life too seriously and just enjoy it just enjoy the craft that we have along with all the colors and all the stuff so now I did um sorry I had to have a drink um I did these these words I'm going to tell you I have no clue where they came from I've had them for so long it's not even funny every single thing that I have used in this video I will have listed in the description below so don't panic if I haven't said something trust me it'll all be listed below nice and clear for you along with um, my link to crazy craft obsession and yeah so this little stapler I will mention so for my Aussie Aussie peeps just FYI you know how you've got the Tim Holtz tiny attacher right I went to office works and they had this little stapler it takes the number 10 staples and is it number 10 I think it's number 10 staples the tiny the ones that you would use in a tiny attacher is what they are okay I'm reaching through it hopefully it's not too clunky um number 10 staples yes so they're the number 10 ones and you can get that stapler there it cost me like six bucks with the tiny ones and it's perfect it does exactly the same job and you can get the colored staples there as well so if you if you like that look of having some metal occasionally like this was a so these were photos of Keith Urban um the bottom photo he he actually surprised us he he went to so he went to the same high school that I went to and um but he's a couple of years older than me and he he went to the same primary school as me too and he ended up he was going past before this particular concert this I think it was the Saturday night that one and that we went to and he, he stopped and took a photo in front of the school in front of the sign which was hilarious anyway he put it up on the big screens that you have at your concerts and I snapped it really quickly I had my phone in my hand and my husband and I and I was just getting right into it it was really good and then this photo popped up and I just happened to take a snap of it well hilarious I put it up on Facebook on my own page and it went nuts the amount of people that commented on it it was crazy it was so funny it makes me laugh so that's why that particular photo is on here because that was the year 2016 was the year he did that so it was funny for him to drop back to the old stomping grounds so yeah so I absolutely love Keith Urban he is one of my go-to I have such an eclectic range of music that I absolutely love listening to. I today I was smashing Pink and Adam Lambert and um, who else? Oh, it usually Guy Sebastian, um, Keith Urban, Carrie Underwood, Kelly Clarkson. Like I just go all over the place when it comes to music. But nothing gets me scrapping quicker. Especially, I like to, I like to really bang the the tunes out when I'm scrapping, especially when I'm doing mixed media because it just it's freeing. I absolutely love it. So now I'm just adding some bling. Now, if you see these little packs 
you can see the little pack there off to the top left hand side I actually bought these these are nail art ones but what I have noticed is crazy craft obsession now have these little packets of bling as well so if you're after something like that they have them I picked mine up through oh, I don't know some I don't even know where I got them from I think it might have been through Amazon maybe it was Amazon AU maybe it was I don't know I know it wasn't AliExpress. I don't know where it was that I got them from, but they're perfect. They they were just cheap enough that I can throw them around like confetti at a birthday party and I don't stress about the cost of them whatsoever. But I know Crazy Craft Obsession now are stocking the Pink Fresh. Um, what do they call them? I always forget what they're called. Pink Fresh Jewels and um they have iridescent ones they have oh they're just stunning anyway enough of my waffle enjoy your day i hope you're having an awesome day i hope it's nice and sunny and it's not too cold and it's not too hot wherever you are and here's the close-ups i would love it if you have not already subscribed i would love you to subscribe and have you jump on board i post six videos a week and i would also like thumbs up leave me a comment let me know what you think i love reading through all of that stuff and of course wish Angie a happy birthday thanks guys chat to you soon bye for now